Howdy folks, welcome back to Paolo Strada. It is 20 past seven on Sunday morning and I'm on my way to sign on for the Yorkshire Corker, which is a 93 mile sportive that goes through the Habwardian Hills and into the North York Moors with a trip up Rosedale Chimney. I am on the winter bike today, mud guards and disc brakes, because apparently it's gonna rain all day and it is spitting at the moment. I'm in my summer gear, but I do have a waterproof jacket with me just in case it does decide to piss it down. So let's go and get signed on and get ready to go. are about 45 minutes in and just coming up to the first climb of the day which is the Castle Howard climb which isn't actually categorized but still got its steep points feeling pretty good already been dropped by one guy which is nice uh, sort of thinking I may have over egged the cake in terms of what I brought with me don't think it was necessary to bring two bottles of water and loads of food and ride the winter bike but there we go lesson learned this is my first ever sport eve so that's to be expected anyway See you at the top. So, just crossed the A170 and into the North York Moors National Park, which means two things. One, there are sheep everywhere. And two, the monstrosity that is Rosedale Chimney is getting closer. 33% gradient in one stretch of that climb. Of course, played host to the 1987 National Hill Climb Championships, won by Chris Boardman. Was it Chris Hoy? Better say it the other way, just in case. Won by Chris Hoy. So, I'm gonna switch to the handlebar cam and show you a first person view of what it's like to climb Chimney Bank. So just left the North York Moors National Park and now back into the Howardian Hills. <sighs> Rosedale, man, what a climb. You think you've got to the hard bit, then you turn a corner and you're at the hard bit. And then you get to the end of the hard bit and you turn a corner and then the hard bit starts. It's mad. Still, I was second to the top apparently. But I've had a can of Coke and a sandwich, so ready to power my way home. Okay, so update, about just over five hours in, got about 10 miles to go, and I'm flagging a bit, I'll tell you that, but I've kept a good average speed, I've been pretty quick, about 17 and a half miles an hour at the moment. Not long now till the finish line. Of course, it's not ready for the finish line for me because I've got another five miles or so on top of that to get home. So, last leg, here we go.
I just felt a drop of rain. So I was right to ride the winter bike after all. So I just got home. What a ride. That was intense, hard work, but amazing. Managed to do it in under six hours as well, which I'm really pleased with. That's a really good performance in my book. Yeah, just want to say a massive thanks to Scott who organized the ride and all of the volunteers who were handing out drinks and food all along the way. Big thanks to everybody who supported me on my Just Giving page. All the money is going to Shelter, which is a charity that helps the homeless in this country. I'll put a link to the donation page down below. If you can spare a couple of quid to help the homeless, that'd be amazing. So I'm gonna go and have a shower and order a big pizza now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Please do like and subscribe.